All right, so we are back. So this um, fun portion of our show, what we're gonna be doing now is we are gonna be evaluating some genetic testing in dogs. So we get this question a lot. Um, what do you recommend for DNA testing? Or what kind of a dog is this dog? And we have to like eyeball it and guess, and we're usually wrong. Um, <laughs> So there's a lot of tests on the market and we have a selection that we've chosen. So um, props to Royal Canin because Royal Canin donated a bunch of DNA tests for us to use. And then there's a couple of tests that we're gonna do that are um, ones that you just buy on Amazon for your pet. And so we're gonna do two tests on each pet, try and evaluate the one that you would do with your vet in, in combination with one of the ones that you can get just to buy and see what those results show and we're also going to put this out on facebook with some photos of the different pets for you to take guesses and um, we'll reveal next month what those tests showed yeah this is like i don't know i'm really excited about this, this is, segment yeah. um it's just something that's super cool we don't get to do it very often and i think in the time of of that we're right in right now with like ancestry and that 21, whatever, 23 the and me. 23, 23, 23 and me, I don't know why I said 21, 23 and me, um, it's really kind of cool to be able to do fairly similar genetic testing with dogs and see if they're spot on. Yeah, so for our audio viewers, audio viewers, audio listeners, we're going to just describe these dogs and for, uh, you can definitely go on our Facebook site and see photos, which we'll be posting later. So this is Callie. Hi, Callie. Callie is nervous about being on camera today, so she just needs to eat a lot. She's a nervous Oh, eater. there she is. There she is. She's adorable. So Callie, we're not going to say what we think Callie is right now. Callie came from Tennessee. She's about, what do you think, 40 pounds? Yeah, I think she's about 45, yeah, right around um, there. She's a brindley. She's Brenda, which Brindle. means like black and tan, sort of in a model. Yeah, model like type of pattern. stripes, and she has kind of a longish nose and Hi. little ears that are are like slightly floppy. But Kelly, do you want to look over this way here? Not I might, too big. I might give the cookie over to. Oh, there we go. Oh, Kelly sees the camera. Uh, maybe I'll give the cookie to and our, our she'll camera never person. Let me, she'll never let me touch her tail, but she's got this fluffy sort of <laughs> curly tail. Turn around, look at them. Look at them. She's slender. She's got good muscle tone. There's her curly tail. She's got tail. nice thighs. Yep. It's <laughs> <laughs> like Miss America fashion for, yeah. for a dog. And she has little tufts there around. She has, um, what do you call those neck the, uh, feathers? Uh, around her, her, her little mane? Around. I don't know. So I have some ideas yeah. about what I think she is. But As do I. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what the genetic testing shows. So yeah, all we know about her is that she's from Tennessee. We don't know anything about her parents, right? Nothing about, no, no, nothing about her parents, so. All right. All right, we're going right, to see so what we'll you want. switch are. her out. you want to hand the leash Yeah, let me hand the leash off. Okay. Oh, don't knock everything over. There <laughs> she goes. Bye, Kelly. Bye, Kelly. So the one that we're doing on all four dogs is a blood test. That's one that you would have to do through your veterinarian. It has to be a vet that does it. We actually don't do it yet, but we'll see what the test shows. Yeah. And then we'll start doing it. Yeah. Um, it's going to run you somewhere around 200 to $250 through your vet to get that information. And it has um, genetic information about what breed mixtures they think might be in your dog, but also a bunch of different genetic diseases, which is fascinating. It is actually it's fascinating. fascinating. It's pretty cool. Um, and then we have the wisdom panel, which two of the dogs will be getting. Now, this is related to this test. So it's basically, this is the one that you can do to buy commercially and you just do a cheek swab, whereas this one you do blood testing. Uh, we're gonna send them in kind of blinded so that the company doesn't know that we've sent both of them in, but um, we'll see if they match. They should hopefully match. And then this is just another one that we found, um, which also seemed to be well rated and it's through Cornell University. So there's some science behind that as well. And all of them say that they give you genetic information and the different genetic um, diseases. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, Tallulah. Ta so Tallulah is also a rescue. I actually don't know where. Do you know where she's from? She's from Tennessee, I believe. Yeah, I believe she's from they're Tennessee. They're all from Tennessee. We do get a lot of southern dogs um, up here, so it actually be interesting if you're related to Miss oh. Kelly. Maybe you are like a distant relative. So yeah. little Tallulah Hi. is. I call her Red. Yeah. And she's, I guess, like maybe 25 pounds. Yeah, she's although a little, she's maybe, a little bit chunky. Maybe she should like be like 20. <laughs> We might need to talk to um, Christine about that. She's got kind of a tiny little face, like a little re regular size, nice, regular length nose. Nice big round eyes. Um, her ears are not particularly floppy. They're just regular ears. Um, regular ears. Yeah. Um, so she's a, I call her an American brown dog. American <laughs> red dog. Yeah. So um, take your guesses on what you think she is. Yeah. 
I have a guess of what she you is. You have a guess. I, I have a guess too. I yeah. do. So we'll see. Okay. Tula, you sound so pretty. That was great, Tula. She's a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, we and we should it. we should actually say that out of uh, some of these dogs that we're doing today, we're doing four. Um, Three out of the four, we sort of don't really they're know. They're mixed breeds. They're mixed right? breeds. We don't right. really know their their lineage, and we don't really know what they are. And then we have one sort of a, we're using as a control. Her dog is, we we are not going to tell you. Yeah. But we know what she is, supposedly. But you never know. You never know. So she's like the family dog. Uh, <laughs> she's, you know, has been around our family. She spends time at every one of my family members' houses. And she's the only dog in the family right now because so she wants to be the princess. This is Lola. She's supposed to be a purebred. You can guess what she's a purebred. This is Lola. She's so happy she did it. She is a bit of a hot mess. We keep her extra shaggy. My parents <laughs> and my sister love having her be shaggy, but you can trim her to look a little bit different. Oh, what do you think, Lola? Are you excited to so be on the show? So what do you call this color pattern? Um, this is just fawn and black. Yep. Yeah, so she's got... Oh, oh wait, Lola, come back. Come back, Lola. Come here, you. She's got long hair. So how much does she weigh? She's, uh, she's about eight pounds. Eight pounds, yeah. Yep, she's eight pounds. Um, she's got cute little face. <laughs> I don't know. It's really hard to describe, describe them your own dog for like I mean, um audio for the audio. Viewers. It's hard without using their breeds or using what right. you know kind of breed they might be. But she's a a dog with continuously growing hair. Right, you have to get her groomed if mm -hmm. you choose to. I, we do cut her hair. It's just is not and super short. She's a little scruffy, brown, yeah. black. Um, my dog little, with a little tiny tail, so she doesn't have the full tail, which no. is something that they do. It's controversial. Oh, tail dog. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, all right. There you go, Miss Lola. All right. There goes Lola. Bye, Lola. No. We'll Let's see go. you later. Oh, you want to stay with She's me? You can't stay with me. Dog. You don't like other dogs, really. <laughs> here, here you go. All right. Bye, Lola. <laughs> so, in purebred testing, there are actually, I believe Wisdom Panel and some others do make abbreviated panels that are breed confirmation tests. So, you know, if you ever weren't sure and you wanted to... Oh, uh -oh. my! And here is Luca. This is the cameraman's... So if you wanted to verify your dog's <laughs> breed, there are camera woman's, camera woman's dog. Hi, so Luca! So this is Luca. Luca, look at the camera. And Luca is, all, is Luca from South, but wait, we're in. Is he Tennessee, Tennessee, too? Tennessee. God, all these Tennessee dogs. So what do you think Luca is? Luca is... what? He's very he's, handsome. He's got to be 60 pounds. <laughs> Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Oh. He's brown. He's got lots of different scruff along his back. He's kind of a little a wire, wire, wire coat. hair. Yep. Um, a wire coat. He's got some white patches. Oh, come look at the camera so everybody can see you. Look how handsome you are. Hopefully you're looking at these pictures online because our descriptions are not. They're just really hard. He's good. probably he's the biggest dog out of all the ones today. And he's look got a wire face too. So he's got that little. Um, beard around his lips and mm -hmm. eyebrows and he's the most fabulous of all and he actually is featured in a lot of ethos yeah if marketing. you look at our websites he'll be there yeah so he's so handsome and photogenic and because right. your mommy's titty mommy's the camera woman <laughs> so these are our four dogs we are going to go ahead and do the genetic testing later and we'll send it all in, and uh, we'll be revealing what these little dogs are. It would be quite dramatic next time, so I really do advise that you... Um, Grab some popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be doing envelopes and official reveals. It'll be fun. Yes. A lot of fun. Um, are we? <laughs> That's what I feel like we should do. Yeah, I feel like we should do it. So... Um, so thank thanks you. so much. So we, we're... For our, okay, we're going to just... Right. Hang on one moment. We're going to... Yeah, yeah. Here you go, sweetheart. So remember you can subscribe and review our podcast on iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube. Um, you can also catch our episodes live at 11 a.m. on the second Wednesday of the month um, on the Bulger Veterinary Facebook page. And special thanks to our sponsors, Ethos Veterinary Health. And also we just did want to thank Royal Canaan for donating those tests to us, as well as Bulger Veterinary Hospital that provided the other tests. Yeah. And see you next time when we reveal the DNA tests. I'm Christopher Nolligan. I'm Lindsay Rinsula. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.